So today I'm in uh, Nazareth. You can see Nazareth is over there behind me. Uh, the Jezreel Valley is also there behind me. I'm actually meeting a very, very uh, um, special, special guest. Um, I actually don't know where is he. Oh, there he is. That, that, that's actually not, not, not a funny joke. I, I really need to stop with the cheesy Change jokes. It, please. Yeah, yeah. But same. what's up? Give me the elbow. Give me the elbow. So yeah, this is Yosef, an Arab Israeli Christian, uh, a proud Arab Israeli Christian. Yeah, put put that mask on, okay? I'm I'm the one speaking right now. Uh, so uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna spend the day in uh, Nazareth and uh, see how it goes. First of all, I have to tell you, being in Nazareth, I, I sh should I be scared? Should I feel safe? I mean, <laughs> not only you should be, you should feel safe. It's actually the safest place, and. We are also going right now to do a little bit of a tour. Eat yeah. hummus and knafi. Hummus. 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 Say hummus. It right with the ha. ha. Hummus. You see, even me, an Israeli, I'm struggling with saying uh, hummus. You're Ashkenaz, that's why. Yemeni would say hummus. Th thanks for insulting me right there on camera. <laughs> wow, look at that. Yosef. It feels like you're... Uh, I was born here. It feels like you were born in Nazareth that you're taking me to all these... Uh, yeah. The spots. Uh, by the way, yes, he was born and raised in Nazareth. You didn't see over there, that was my high school. Just over there, on the, wow, wow, on the top. Wow. So, Yosef said, let's go to this uh, open mall and, and see how Jews and Arabs get along together. But Yosef, it looks like you were lying to me and there is no one here. You know what? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sad. I'm sad because this city is a tourist city. And to see it like this, yeah, it's, it's, it, I, I, I want to cry. I literally want to cry. I really hope this situation ends soon. There are people behind you, but uh. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, in in a daily base, you cannot yeah. walk here because. Oh, because it's all crowded. packed. Very crowded. Oh Jews wow. and Arabs together here, and tourists from all over the world. So Nazareth is basically the largest Arab city in Israel. Yeah. There are 71% uh, Muslims. Of 71% of the population here are Muslim and 29 is uh, Christian. Yeah. Hanania, how is Nazareth? This is just incredible. Can you see the fountain? Fountain. This is, uh, this is the, the very church. center of, of Nazareth. And uh, we miss you. We miss you, the tourists. I wish that you guys could, could come here as well. Yeah. Probably not on July or August because this is hot. So this is art that uh, countries donated to uh, this church here in Nazareth. Egypt. Egypt. Oh, there's Egypt here. Egypt. Yeah, Iran. That is so cool. This is the Annunciation Church. This is literally where Christianity is taught. And so, what, what's what's the significance of this? Uh, so, place? we believe that uh, exactly here, uh, Gabriel Angel came uh, to uh, Mary and told her that she is gonna. Uh, bring Jesus to the world. Exactly mm. here. So usually it's all open. All the stores are open. You must. You, you need to understand. You will come in another time where you will see a big festival here. Mm. In all the roads and all the uh, markets. Is, so what, what's this road like on, listen, on Christmas? Listen, you cannot. I'm not joking. You cannot move. Here. Because, because the people. Apparently, driving here is uh, is kind of a challenge. <laughs> so Careful! So Careful! at this mosque, Nabi al Sain in Nazareth. It's a beautiful display of coexistence. We saw a church today, a mosque, and obviously there are uh, multiple of synagogues. Uh, so this is just a perfect uh, answer to Jews and uh, Arabs getting along together. There is a place for everyone here. And, 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 
I had to. Okay, so I saw the the kefir, and Yosef is laughing at me. But I said, "Hey, I, it's the it's the first time. I have to try it. I have to try Come it." On, show everybody how you you put it on. All right, all right. And to the Arabs watching this in the Middle East, don't make fun of me. I'm uh, I'm learning. They said that I should make like a triangle, like this, like this. Put it like this. You go like this. <laughs> this is so hilarious. Welcome to the family. I know I look weird, but please don't call me Hanania. Call me Al, Al Hanania. <laughs> Al Hanania. And say something in Arabic now. Isma, Ana, Ana in Al Nazareth. It's it's actually funny because I, I've been living in Israel. I, we study Arabic uh, at school, but I don't really remember any any Arabic. Oh, <laughs> be honest. Should I be embarrassed? Uh, like, do I look Arab? No, you, yeah, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I would definitely come to you and say marhaba. Marhaba. But definitely don't dub. Like, <laughs> no, Arabs no, don't no. dub. Now I'm, I'm saying myself, I, I, wow. I think I did quite a good job. <laughs> 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 it's good. It's good. I, mean, I, I think I look a bit Saudi. For the first Saudi. time, we can say that okay. the Arab doesn't look like an Arab. Yeah. Like Jew, Jew, so, who's the Arab here and who's the Jew? Welcome to my country. Islam. You are uh, welcome here. Let's get some coffee. Okay. Bad okay. A, bad accent. Okay. Guys, uh, so Yosef has been uh, laughing at me. I'm but sorry. hey, I forgot to bring my hat. And I said, hey, this is quite Middle Eastern. We're in the Middle East. It's it's hot here. And uh, so I felt like buying it. It's only 25 shekels, by the way. You look cool, man. And wait, so in, in uh, dollars, how, how much is that? Four bucks? Yeah, four bucks? Four, four and a half. And by the way, they yeah, you off. I can buy it for like ten shekels. Yo, yo, you told me at that. At the, you, he told me at the store that this was a good price. I tried to negotiate. I tried to. We tried to negotiate. I, I told this the shop owner. Oh, but in the other store, I think we saw a better price. But he said, no, no, this one is a good price. I went and I spoke in Arabic and I got it for ten shekels. And and the Jew paid four bucks. You see. But I'm happy. I'm happy with it. <laughs> now we're, we're, we're totally joking. It's a, it's a, a good price. I'm trying to get used to this. I mean, so it's, it's honestly gonna... really comfortable. I think it's actually important to emphasize that it's not like a Muslim thing. It's not like a Palestinian thing. It's, it's not a Palestinian. It's it's a it's, it's a local thing. thing. Yeah. So this is a kafia. It's not a Palestinian kafia. This is just a a Middle Eastern thing. This was your school. That's my school. Yeah, that is so cool. Yeah. What a view. So Nazareth is actually the city where uh, uh, Jesus grew up and spent his uh, his childhood. Right now you can hear the uh, the mosque. The uh, imam is calling uh, his praying. So this is actually something really incredible to see the coexistence happening in this city. Falafel, falafel. We're eating right now. Oh yeah, but this, this was falafel. This is shawarma. Yosef, since you're new here in Nazareth, so, so this is basically the knafe. Eh? So this is the knafe. This is the knafe, yeah. Okay. We we eat this every day here in Israel. <laughs> you know what? This is the funny thing is, I literally eat at least three to four times, and I still <laughs> in good shape. I don't know why. Maybe it's the genes, but it's it's because of stress. Because of stress <laughs> from work. Look at that. I think I think that we can conclude this video and say that Jews and Arabs they live together we love each other and uh, we seek peace it's just the minority that causes all the noise extreme minority yeah so Shalom from Nazareth Shalom Shalom <laughs>